evolve with Abather, spikes and things. Monstrosity! I thought you could take me. So yeah, I almost always used to build Abathur with the pushing mines and and locust build, but I've recently been messing around with with um the hat build and just going hard monstrosity. I always go monstrosity, so that's what this is about. So for the first ability, I'm going with pressurized glands, increase the range of symbiote spike burst by 25%, and decrease the cooldown by one second. I really like this because it makes it so that you can AO your AOE on the minions, um, hits them all. It's annoying when, like, you, you put your hat on one of the, the ranged minions and the AoE is just out of reach of some a lot of them, so that extra reach is very good for pushing and even getting some last hits off and things on heroes. Um, like I said, going hardcore monstrosity build this time because I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, so I'm going to see how this goes. I'm just chilling with my dudes in the mid, dropping mines where I can. Um, and seeing if we could get a kill. We got our little Chen Soki Doken. And my hat's gonna help a little bit. A little bit. And I'm like, alright, let me keep putting some mines on this map. I oh there we go. We got a kill. Alright, alright. I said, can we can we yeah, yeah. Nah. Um Yeah, I love putting mines in between oh jeez, in between the top and bottom parts. Especially once I know where the uh, objective is gonna spawn, then I just load that place up with mines. Although I am not going the mine build this time, so so it's much less of a focus time around, but always still very beneficial. So I'm down here. You just saw that AOE burst to hit er everyone there, including the, the range guys. And that little extra 25% range helps with that. I got it off twice there, so that was a, a nice little little hit there. And I'm going to do it. God, I just killed it there. All right, whatever. So the objective is going to be the bottom, so I'm putting my mines there. I'm trying to just soak a little bit of the damage on the towers whenever I can. And Oh, we, oh yeah, we're going to... Yeah, nice kill there. All right. All right. All right. So I'm constantly bouncing around the map, especially at this point, because I want to help where I can, drop mines wherever I can. And if there's ever a lane where one of our dudes isn't in, I'm going to hat someone so I can collect the blue orbs. Um, yep. Yep. Just helping my dudes right now. Hit my AOE and spikes every chance I can. And boom, there's more mines to set up and get us in, uh, in a good spot for the objective. Rengar, uh, get out of here. All right, so for level four, uh, I go with... Uh, I, I was thinking Adrenal Overload because, again, I'm going Monstrosity and, and the extra attack speed would be nice, but I don't have enough melee guys. And if I'm not using the Monstrosity, then I won't get as much benefit from Adrenal Overload since my guys are range. So I go with Needle Spine, which increases the damage and range of the Symbiote Stab by 20%. So it's pretty nice. It adds up for sure, especially when you just keep picking people off and they don't realize they're getting hurt. Um, and it's nice on the on the monstrosity too. All right, so we're gonna continue with the soaky dope, dropping mines wherever I can, and Li Ming doing a nice job on that tower. I get my AOE off once. Can I do it again? Shield uh, and AOE again. Very nice. That it all adds up. It's like small damage, but it adds up, and before you know it, all the minions are gone. So I've got a decent amount of mines in that lower area by the objectives and we're doing some good work on the towers all right so boom got my AOE off there again and now the objective is up so here for the most part I believe after I drop my mines I'm just gonna keep on trying to soak and this is where Abathur can really shine because you have global awareness of the map and you can you can put your hat anywhere really where there's an, uh, a minion or whatever and just soak everything. And you only have to be on them for a second, and then you can soak all the blue balls around it, which is lovely. Oh, we couldn't kill Misha. But it looks like no one's really going for objectives yet. So, oh, and my I guess someone landed on my mines or they expired, so that's nice. Boom, hit in the mid. Um, collecting what I can and just looking around and dropping mo little mines. All right, for level seven, I used to always go for the, the mule. But now, these days, I go for a network carapace. I really like that you can shield everyone around you. It's much more of an offensive build. Um, now, now, Mule is definitely nice. I, I hate seeing structures that are, are weak and I can't do anything about it. But man, it's so nice when you get the, the shield on 
all the, the heroes and units around the per person, especially when later in the build I go for the thing that makes you move faster with the shield. Oh my goodness. Boom, look at those guys with shields. It's, it's very nice. It helped them absorb a little bit of that Phoenix AoE. Alright, so this dude's up here. Too bad when you put on a building, it doesn't necessarily shield the other the walls or other towers near you. Whatever. I wish there was a talent that allowed you to take up globes even further. That would be pretty cool. Nice kill there. Chen on Tassadar. And it looks like no one is still going for the objective, which is fine because boom, I'm just going to put a hat there, collect the blue orbs, get a couple AoEs on, and then move on. A lot of fun, just constantly bouncing around, and then I see Li Ming might need a little help. I jump on her, give her a shield, she turns around, we turn the tide right there. Boom. Get another shield on her. Good stuff. Good stuff. Little spike burst. Again, I know it doesn't look like they do much, but it adds up. The spike burst in the, in the AoE. Oh, nice kill there. We got a small level lead. This is funny because Chen just hops right back over. It was a great pull, but come on, man. That's Chen. You don't do that to Chen. So it looks like now we're going to go for the objective. Oh, Chen, Chen's tough between my shields and his, his drinking shields. Oh, and we get Tassadar again. Good stuff. Hanzo. He does some deep stack guy. Oh, this guy. What is that guy thinking? Phoenix had no shield and he was just sitting there. So that was that was much appreciated. So now we can get the objective and I can get off, drop a couple more mines and continue to soak everywhere while these guys are dead and we have the objective. Boom, get my AOE off there again, shield the rest of the guys so they lasted a little bit longer even when my hat is removed. And level 10 is where the fun begins. I get Evolved Monstrosity and I'm gonna put him here on the bottom lane and just keep him alive for as long as possible because he gets stronger the longer he lives, basically. Whenever an enemy minion dies near it, it gains 2% health and 2% basic attack, stacking up to 40 times so I can get 80% extra health and attack. Um, and and it's, it's really just a good time. He heals when, when minions die near it, so I'm gonna just soak as much as possible and get stronger, stronger. And there it is, a shield, you can see how, how that helps everyone around them. It's, it's lovely, it helps them survive a little bit longer than, than that, um, and that lightning so Tassadar is trying to kill me it's the worst when you when you summon your monstrosity and he dies right away so that's just something you gotta be careful of so I'm playing it safe I, I shielded that group as I walk by and I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can lay these mines here and then get back on my monstrosity it takes you know when you when you get off the monstrosity or any any hat uh, it takes a few seconds before you can recast so I'm gonna come back in and push with this uh, objective kill these little dudes and there I am gaining some health with all those things dying by me I wish I could collect Health Globes is a monstrosity. And then get closer, shield, and do my AoE and just keep hitting and break that tower. I'm going to back up a little bit soon. Oh, nope, I did not save my shield, but I'm just going to keep on messing with Tassadar and then hopefully get another shield off on those guys again. AoE, keeping them up. All right, so Tassadar did a nice job of taking out that objective, um, the ram dude, but whatever. We, we broke a gate in the, in the tower. I'm going to back it up. I'm actually going to... Oh, I, I messed up there. I meant to tunnel him back to the core to heal him and just forget about him for a bit, but I messed up, so I'm going to stick with him. And at this point, I, I don't drop um, mines as much because I'm just really focused on soaking and killing things with this monstrosity, because I want to feed him, and he's fun. It's fun using this guy. Constantly shielding all the minions near me and, and, and causing a ruckus. Getting a little bit low, so I'm just going to shield, run in again, kill some things, and probably, oh, again, I wish I could grab the healing globe. Uh, Decent sustain, but yeah, I'm tunneling back so I can start to heal there. Someone's gonna cover my lane. I'm gonna heal him for a few seconds and then get off. And then when I get off, he's gonna automatically start going down the bottom lane. Um, just because that's the nearest path right now. And I'm gonna put my mines again between the middle and the top because that's where the next objective is. We got some nice pushes going on. We got almost a full level lead at this point. Um, and uh, I'm just looking around to see where I can soak up some more blue orbs. Um, keep things alive a little bit longer. All right, level 13. Uh, here I'm going with uh, spatial efficiency. My stab gains one additional charge and its cooldown is reduced by five seconds. And that's nice because now I have um, two stab abilities. And with my level four needle spine, um, both the range and the damage is still increased by 20%. So it's nice. Oh, and we go in. Chen does a great job of knocking Tassel out of there. I see him moving there. So I'm going to get in front of him. And I'm gonna ruin his day. Get out of here. Boom. Doing some decent damage. What is it? 239, I think it was. Each hit. And then that's the melee attack, but then I have my spike and my burst. So um people people don't realize if you let that monstrosity loose for too long, that guy can do some serious damage. Serious damage. 
So I'm killing these things. I'm not too worried about my health right now because I'm just going to back up, shield up, and go back in. Phoenix wants some of this, so I'm going to start hitting him. Get his shield down. Scare him away. Oh, he's, he wants some more. But I just want to break this tower. So I get my AOE off there. His shield is still gone. I'm going to shield myself. Continue to AOE and burst down these minions. Healing a little bit each time. He's coming back in, so I'm going to fight him. Fight him. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Stay alive. Alright, stay alive. Boom. And just turn around on him and spike burst. Gah, nice shot right there. He thought he could get me. We got it. We got it. Um, now, it's a trade-off, of course, because as I'm using this guy, I'm nowhere else on the map. I'm not able to lay my landmines. I'm not able to soak other lanes. Uh, but goodness, if you keep this guy up, you can push the lane real nice and just get a solid, um, strong monstrosity up there. So bottom lane is good. I'm going to tunnel him back. 80 second cooldown, so it's done. I'm going to tunnel him back, heal him up. I'm going to try to get him top lane, but I think I fail. So I'm going to get off and lay some more mines and get ready for this next objective. Soak wherever I can right there. Get a shield on these guys in the bottom lane. Keep that push going hard. And you can see my monstrosity already coming back down the bottom lane. I had hoped to, to get him on the top lane to, to push there, but uh, I didn't let go in time. All right, so for level 16, I'm going with Adrenaline Boost. Um, Symbiote's Carapace increases the movement speed of the target by 40% for 3.5 seconds. And it's nice because I have the AOE shield, so everyone around gets the speed boost. Heroes and minions. It's, it's pretty nice. I like it a lot. Alright, so I'm on this objective for a little bit, dropping some mines, and again, going back to Soak, we have a sweet level lead now, two levels, um, and we got our 16 as well before them, so we should be able to do some serious work here. I wanted to shield the guys in the top lane to help with the push, but I see Tassadar's there now. I'm helping more guys at the objective, even though the monstrosity is bottom. I'm going to hop back down there, shield them, and just wreck this bottom. And this is what I love about Abathur. Uh, you know, the longer your guys delay the objective, he can just get a crazy push. And again, he, he's really strong now, doing some great damage, 268 per hit, nearly hit, and his AoE and, and, and spikes, which can happen twice as much now. Um, he's keeping everyone alive with his shield. It is nasty. Hey, whenever I'm going against an Abathur and I see a monstrosity, I do my best to just try to try to kill it before it gets too bloody strong, because now look what's going on. My team's doing a nice job at the objective. I'm just going in, shielding every five, uh, six seconds, AOE every five seconds, and spike burst nonstop. Keeping these guys alive, soaking up the damage, because we have another group there. I shield them all again, and we go in, and we're just going to destroy this thing right now. And my guys get another kill. Good job, team. Yeah, you really have to stay communicating with your team, because they're going to be without a player for a majority of the time. And, and Abathur's a big loss. Um, because his hat is so nice, but I'm having fun and we're doing well going on top lane to just destroy this now Great soak our bottom. They finally defended the bottom lane, which they had to because it was so pushed in We're going in here hard. I'm just gonna kill these things and he Continues to heal even though he's at 40 stacks now every time a minion dies near him. He gets some health So it's it's a thing of beauty if you're in control Keep the shield going on. So we're gonna wreck this up here other team still doesn't know what to do. We get the objective. Looks, I think they're going to try to chase me here. Maybe, maybe. I want to just kill this tower, though. Got it. Shield. My shield, I get to move faster. Oh, no, I'm coming in. And oh, we don't get him. We don't get him. Sorry. I'm getting a little low. Um, my tunnel is up, so I believe I'm just going to hearth back. Come on, hearth back. Maybe I don't want to do it yet. Maybe I just... Oh, no, I, my tunnel isn't up. That's why. So I'm just backing up a bit. Uh, and now I can get off, lay some more mines, and help people out while, while my monstrosity starts to move back to the front lines. So there we are, soaking, destroying the middle tower now. And, and this objective, it's really important that you kill all the buildings because then their core is a lot weaker. Dropping a couple more mines before taking over the monstrosity. And look at him just healing again. Healed for probably 10-15% of his health just now. And now we're going to destroy this top fort. Focusing me, but I don't really mind that much because I got my team here with me now. Too bad Chen's shield doesn't really help the monstrosity. But I got the, the AOE shield, which makes my team move faster. Hanzo puts a ha -ta 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 out. And I'm like, alright, my team got that. I'm just going to finish off this building. And then at level 20, uh, you know, I, I do think the hive mind is, is best. Symbioting two people is amazing, especially with this build, but I'm going monstrosity. So 
I just wanted to test this out. Uh, I went evolution complete, increased the monstrosity's basic attack damage by 100%. Again, I don't recommend this, but I was having fun with it. I mean, this, this is one of the first games I played where the monstrosity never died. So he's got full stacks, he's doing some decent damage. I've gotten a couple kills with it, so I'm just going in and hitting things. And the game's pretty much over at this point anyway. So I didn't really get to test it, unfortunately. I'm going to summon him back, but I don't realize the game's already done. So that's how I use um, the monstrosity. Ton of fun. He, he's just a beast, or a monster, if you will. Um, but that's that. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.